Okay friends, one of the first things we need to do is make sure that your vehicle is going to be in neutral for this. Go ahead and put the key in the on position, put it in neutral, turn it back off as far as it can. Now we're going to take a nice plastic trim tool, something that's not going to chisel up our dash. We're going to try to come right in between here and see if we can pop this out. Okay, let's tilt the steering wheel down as far as we can. Slide this up and out of here. Let's remove these two lower bolts using a seven millimeter socket. Now let's just grab onto this, give it a little tug. Get this right out of the way. Let's grab right onto this, pull it out of here. Underneath this area right here, you're gonna see three holes. Two of them should house screws. Ours doesn't actually have any screws, so you'll have to imagine it. Next, it's gonna be time to separate the bottom from the top shell. To do that, you can either use a plastic trim tool and see if you can try to spread them, or you can use a nice small pocket screwdriver. Whatever you do, try not to do this. There we are. Get this forward section to push down. Do the same on the other side. Okay. Now I'm just gonna roll this. If you look right along here, you can see it has two hooks. They're supposed to latch in like that. So once you go down, push it towards the front of the vehicle and then draw it away. Grab onto that upper shell. We're gonna try to lift it up. See if we can push it a little bit because it kind of comes underneath the steering wheel. If you're having an issue, go ahead and continue on with that trim tool. Now let's go ahead and start getting the bolts out of here. I'm gonna start with this top one using a T25. There it is. Our second bolt is located right under here. That one's gonna be a little bit harder to get to. I'm gonna to try to get this one now without removing the steering wheel. Once we get it loose enough, we should be able to grab it with our fingers. Here it comes. Now we can wiggle this around and we can start disconnecting it. Now if we were to follow this black wiring right here, it's gonna lead us to this area. Take your small pocket screwdriver, come right underneath this ear, lift it up, and then draw this away. Now we're gonna continue on. If you were to look right here, you're gonna see an ear. You can go ahead and lift up on that and then draw this one out as well. Do the same to the other side. There it is, friends. Let's do a quick comparison of our new compared to the old. Just look at it real quick. Make sure you've got all the same buttons. You have the little areas here. You also wanna make sure if your vehicle is equipped with cruise control, your new one would have that as well. If for some reason your old one had cruise control and your new one didn't, well, you've got the wrong part. Now it's time to get ready for the install. I'm gonna start with this one right here because I remember it had these little flippy do's on it. Connect it right in. If you were to look at these two pieces right here, the two pigtails, you're gonna see that they're very different. So you can't really mix them up, okay? So don't worry about that. We'll go ahead and line it up, slide it in. Do the same to the other one. And then of course, our little black wire. We don't want to forget about that. Line it up, slide it in, give it a tug. Double check everything. Make sure everything's completely clicked in. That's great. Let's start mounting it. I'm going to put this right up on here like this. It should set right in. We've got our bolt. I'm just going to carefully try to start it in there. This is going to be the hardest part overall. You might need to wiggle this around a little bit to try to line it up with the hole. Just a couple threads, okay? Once we get it started in a couple good threads, we'll start in the top one. We want them both started before we tighten any of them up completely. As you can tell, I'm at a pretty severe angle here. That's due to the fact that I didn't want to go through the whole hassle of removing the, um, the steering wheel, because of course that's a lot more of a process and it's not really necessarily needed. Okay, that feels like it bottomed out. Just give it a teeny bit more. I obviously don't want to crack the plastic, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and tighten up that upper one. going to be time to give this a test. Let's go ahead and go left. Perfect. Right. Love it. And of course, the four ways. All right. The rest of the testing we can do when we're on the road. Now it's going to be time to get our shell back onto that steering column. I just wanted you to pay attention to this area right here and the area on the top. As you'll see, they kind of need to roll in together at the same time on side to side. And then you would just kind of squeeze it down and then it should latch in. I'm not gonna do it right now because obviously I'm gonna have to take it back apart, but that's essentially what you're gonna have to do. Lock these in, squeeze it down, 
clip it in. Start with the top piece because that's the last piece we took off. Get it up in here. Just be careful for that steering wheel. We're going to have to get it underneath there. This looks pretty good. We're also going to pay attention along the other side here because this is where the ignition switch is and of course the boot for our shifter. That slides right down on there. Let's grab the lower part of the shell. I'm going to come in and try to get it in between this area right here and up to there. Okay. Grab that hook. Check on the other side. Do the same thing. Now I'm going to attempt to bring this up. What I'm going to notice is, of course, this bottom part is going to be hitting up against the steering wheel as well. So I'm just going to try to push it so it goes under there. So now we've got both parts of the shell up and inside this steering wheel area. That's super important because it's going to be very hard to do um, once you get this together. Well, let's get this back side latched in. Do the same on the other side. Double check that boot. What's bound to happen when you're doing this stuff is one side's going to pop off when you're on the other side. You might have to keep going back and forth. Squeeze this in. And I'm going to try to latch these together. There we are. Double check the other side. Perfect. Let's get this bottom kick panel back on here. You're going to notice you have a little piton, and then you have an area that's supposed to go into the clippy do there. We're going to put the piton in the hole, and then the little clippy do is going to line up right here. Fair. Just pull this away if you need to. On the other side, you should have approximately the same thing going on. Loving bonk. Give it a little wiggle. Now let's get our screws in. Now it's time to get the dash face plate in here. Let's carefully put it down. Give this a little push. Let's see if we can weasel it under there. Okay. Now we're going to line it up. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it's not going to come free, and there it is. Let's go ahead and get this back in here, line it up, press it in, give it a wiggle. 